Yeah, so we're just going to do a quick uh, review of the Devante All-Terrain Touratech tyres that I've got on my disco. Um, we have got little Logan with me today, um, so if there's any uh, baby shouting in the background, you know why. Um, also, this video is not sponsored by Devante or anything, so it's... Um, it's all all my genuine uh, review on them um, and then if you've got any questions at the end or anything like that just drop some comments down below and i can answer the questions for you um, so we'll move on to the review so these tires i've had them on about two years now um, and they're a good all-round tire for an all-terrain um, i did come from mud terrains and i thought these would be a lot different i thought these would be a lot different um, to um, the mud terrains but the, they've done everything i used to do with the mud terrains i did have coopers on and i thought i'd never change to the 80s to be honest um but they're really good the only scenario i haven't tested them in is sand um, but i'm planning on doing that probably next year when we go on our abroad trip i haven't had a chance to do that with uh, covid19 and the lockdowns and stuff like that um, but they've been brilliant in the mud um, and they've been brilliant on the uh, gravel grass um wet grass we've done everything we've done pay and plays with them if you go back through the videos you'll see where i changed them to these and you can have a good watch of the videos and um, see the different scenarios i put them through um, but they're a great tire um, the only issue i did have was the sizes and um, that they had available um, some of the, si the size that i did have on this and um, with me coopers they didn't have so i had to go a little bit skinnier but it wasn't a big problem and to be honest i thought going skinnier would give me uh, it'd give me a bit of hassle um, but it hasn't really it's not affected its performance or anything like that and then um, i haven't had any punches off road nothing like that with all the slate lanes we've been on and everything like that we haven't had no punches with them and um, i did have one puncher but that was a big big nail um, by well i must have got it when we were in work and it just punched the hole right through it but that was the only problem but i'd do that with any tires because my coopers did that all the time you get nails in them and they pop but easy fixes you know what i mean they're only going through the bed of the tire they're not going through the side wall um, but the side walls, they haven't got any cracks um, or anything like that from, well, my Coopers, they had tons of them in. And I've only done the same lanes as what I would have done with them. And these haven't got any scratches, marks in the side wall, so they must be a good, strong side wall. Um, and I've, I've only just balanced them since putting them on. I've had them on about two years, and I've only just balanced them again now, so... Yeah, they've, they've stayed pretty well, to be honest, and I've swapped them all around um, to give them a good even wear because I, I think these are a tyre that I'm going to keep hold of. don't think I'm going to be getting any others because um, the other problem with the other tyres, um, they're all American brands, so they're either BS or the Coopers, and the problem with them was getting stock in the UK and you had to pre-order them bit of a nightmare so that's why i changed the coopers because uh, somebody had a set of coopers when i needed them um, and then i moved to these when the coopers got really worn out dead fast to be honest as well so um, i thought i'll try 80s because i do a lot of road miles um, so i thought 80s would be a lot better and i've saved a lot on fuel um, and the tyres are still good after two years um, and i'm hoping still to keep these ones on when i go abroad as well uh, but that obviously depends on when next year we go. Um, but um, they're a good tyre, and and they do actually do um, a, a white letter one now, um, round the side, so all the letters are white, like most uh, off-road tyres. And I know people do like that, and I I particularly like that. But at the time, they didn't have them available for me, so I couldn't really get them. Um, but I hope you like the review. And anyway, if you if you want to comment and uh, let us know. Uh, what you think of 80s or what what if you need some help with uh, tire tire combinations or whether you you're looking at getting a set of tires i'm sure one of the lads in the group would be able to help um in the comments um but um we'll try and do some more reviews of some tires because some of the lads have got different tires like some people have got um coopers some people have got bfs um, and they can obviously give their opinion on them because uh, they're running them all the time my opinion on the bfs and the coopers where they they just weren't they weren't for my car um, I lost a lot of a lot of fuel um, with the with the mud terrains, 
um, and they just went economical with my car but I thought mud terrains were the end all thing you know what I mean but I think uh, since having these it's it, you know a tyre choice is a big thing for off-roaders as well and um, I think the 80s are really really well do really well on, on, on all sorts of um, surfaces So I've just been doing me Devante tyre review, coming down the, the lane to get off where I've just been. Smacked a big ass rock and the uh, rock slide has just protected the car like but um, it's obviously pushed the rock slide as well. And um, like yeah, where that joint is and um, it's come apart so that's gotta come off again and get fixed again. Um, but everything else is sound, the rock climbers have just took a big massive hit underneath. Um, there was a big tree down, so I had to take a bit of a sharp angle and didn't realise there was a big rock before I knew it. The, the front wheel just jumped off um, off the rock and hit the rock sliders. But that's what rock sliders are there for. 